Thank you, Kola. And I think we took one bit of it very seriously, being bold. So today, this presentation will run a little faster. Uh, it's extremely quick. You will have to take a look at it, but see and feel the connect from one slide to another. And how did this happen? I googled, and I got confused. And as Rini mentioned, you know, that there's been so much of a dichotomy and the paradox between uh, these two aspects of art and life. I wish to take you through a journey in your minds where the inspiration of art created, or the imitation, or inspiration, if we call it, is interesting and exciting. We are today in a time when art is in galleries and experienced, expensive, while it's as easy as shooting a photograph and posting it. So it's a connect and relevance to today. We're not showing any of our work. It's a mix of images which come together as art. We can begin. So we know this. Life imitates art. And we've seen this as an example of this film, where finally their life actually uh, was close to what was depicted in the film. And this is one great example. But we've already, Rini has already mentioned this in terms of the Greeks, what they mentioned in terms of mimetics. And now this happened. And I got even more confused. But there was one aspect, which was meaning. And we came to a pet belief or a concept of metaphors and semantics, and then we came to communication. And what happened to communication? From literal communication of not embellishing, we come to this Noam Chomsky's famous sentence, which has a difference between the two aspects. And here we have art in galleries, expensive. And we say art is not for everyone. But isn't art free? And then we have a very relevant object, crafted object, object of art. Its representation itself is art. And then you have a representation as a painting with the human form, and that in its banal act of bathing. And then there's photography, which is even more artistic and more graphical. And that's art. And then there is the human form, even more graphical photography and art, which is a nude, aesthetic, classy, respectable. And that comes to, takes us to Pablo Picasso's blue nude, human form, art. And then we know that Picasso has been working a lot on his concept and personal objects of desire, you know, adding a bit of himself to each one. And that's what has happened. So this is where life was being depicted through art. So Picasso explained that every act of creation is first an act of destruction. And also Picasso was quoted by Paul Cezanne, who's another artist, that painting is something that you do with your balls. Now this is Rebecca's painting, Rebecca Campbell's painting, where a Playboy 1971 artist uh, uh, model was, was worked on. So what does she do? It was an expression, and now from expression we come to impression, to bearing of the soul, to the bone. Is it getting to your head? What do you remember? This post-impressionism, Van Gogh. It's already got into your head. This skull takes us to art, and there is a lot of X-ray art happening today. So there is an X-ray impression medically, and there is an X-ray art. And then you have, this is Dr. Netters, and these are very popular medical illustrations, which are actually helping us from the medical side. But what does it make you do? Think or scream? And then we have scream, famous Van Gogh's painting. And then you have, what kind of an, this evokes? And you have a Garfield there. So this is an illustration where an art is imitating art. And then you have the comic strip, which is an illustration. And this one is a statement of today's life context. This one is talking about food. And then we come to food, and then there is art of cooking, art of presentation, and the food itself is art, and which is then taken almost to this level of art, which itself is a complete painting, which is the art of presentation. And then there is art using food, 
And one of them actually is sculpting, and there are sculptures in the art using, and these are famous series of paintings. So this is miniature art called Mini, mini Miams. And then we come to street art and connect it to food, where you, when you're eating food, which happens in high and expensive restaurants as well as street, how can we forget Banksy, the father of street art? And this one has film and a famous painting. And then you can't miss out stick from street art. And look at this. It's art imitating art himself within his own uh, studio. And that's himself. And then you're talking about from street, you come to walk, ramp. And look at this. The fabric is art, and it's in the context of art. And then there is wearable art, as all fashion as we know. And these are paintings which actually can be removed and put on your wall. So is this art that is wearable or wearable art? And then there is fashion itself, which is expressive, which is art. And this is self-expression. And with self-expression, we come to self.e, but which is selfie. And this was MTV's awarded selfie of the year last year. This is what is happening today. And selfie itself has been taken to another level of art of taking selfie, where there are adventure selfies being taken today. And from adventure selfies, we have the most famous selfie, which was taken, and it has been made into a, photo, into a painting at the Twitter headquarters, and then there is a selfie of that. Who's imitating whom? And then expression of visibility reach has simplified now, and art has become accessible. Instagram, instant gratification from meaning and memory. And here we have Instagram. Look at it. So from Instagram, you've got posts, you've got followers, you've got a following. And you have uh, Chris Austin who's now selling his art on Instagram. And then we know of the Follow Me series, which is happening on Instagram now. This is art against craft, against monuments. And then we have Mar Seda, who's been doing a lot of uh, you know, uh, dioramas of Wes Anderson films. This is one. This is another. Art imitates art. So. I read this out, life is monstrous, infinite, illogical, abrupt, and poignant. A work of art in comparison is neat, finite, self-contained, rational, flowing, and emasculate. Life imposes by brute energy, like inarticulate thunder. Art catches the ear among the far louder noises of experience, like an art a a artificially made by a discrete musician. Art imitates life, life imitates art, art imitates art, life imitates life. I'm still confused. But art enriches and ennobles us. Art is life. Thank you.